Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, on this Wednesday morning. It's the 6th day of April. At time as I make this is 3.22 a.m. Hello, my name is Rich, and we have a big weather day ahead of us. Of course, you probably know that, right? We have a dense fog advisory in effect this morning, but the bigger de- deal is later on this afternoon and this evening and tonight. There may be two modes of severe weather today. I'll explain it on the video, but briefly, uh, there may be a cellular mode with individual thunderstorms developing in the afternoon heat today. That's concerning to me because they will drop tornadoes perhaps. And, uh, you know, yesterday there was, was what, 38 tornadoes across the, the deep south. Many tornadoes here in Alabama. Many of you heard tornado sirens yesterday. Here we are in, again, an, an enhanced severe weather risk today. So there could be that afternoon mode and then another line of storms along the cold front itself tonight with damaging wind gusts and the threat of tornadoes. Those are the headlines. We'll talk about that strong cold front and the big temperature plunge behind it coming up. First, let's talk fog. Take it easy out there on your morning commute this morning. Dense fog advisory in effect for much of central and north Alabama until nine o'clock this morning. Uh, Visibilities will be below a quarter of a mile in some spots, so take it easy. Here's the map a little after lunch today with the frontal system draped from about Cincinnati down to Lake Charles. That'll be the focus for showers and thunderstorms today. There's the cold front tonight slipping into central Alabama with showers and strong storms ahead of it. And then breezy and much cooler back behind it on Thursday, a late season cool snap. So showers and thunderstorms will get going today uh, and well ahead of the front of this afternoon. Some of the storms could be strong to severe in central Alabama before the actual line of storms moves through the state tonight and into southeast Alabama by late tonight. Here's one of the high res models at four o'clock this afternoon showing the cellular mode in central Alabama. That could be a tornadic situation with damaging wind gusts, the main threat. But we'll see if that develops. Uh, here is the, uh, uh, the the line of storms itself by later on tonight, uh, moving into central Alabama around 8 o'clock, according to that particular uh, model. That's the wharf model. So the Storm Prediction Center, again, has an enhanced risk for a lot of us for severe weather. Uh, level 3, not good. Level 2 down in south Alabama. <clears throat> and again, all modes of severe weather are on the table, including damaging wind gusts, large hail, and tornadoes uh, today and tonight. So uh, stay weather aware. We'll keep you up to date. Showers and thunderstorms developing this afternoon and continuing tonight. Warm and moist with south winds 15 to 20 with a high temperature up to about 84. Lots of humidity. Tonight slowed down to about 53. Behind the front tomorrow, and the front will make it to near uh, Tampa by midday, breezy and much cooler. It'll be too cool for April on Friday with high temperatures barely into the low to mid 60s at best. Same thing on Saturday. Nights will be crazy cold. I mean, for this late in the season, around 40 on Saturday morning and maybe even upper 30s perhaps on Sunday morning. I think Sunday afternoon we warm up uh, to the mid to upper 70s. That'll be nice. And I think we're near 80 on Monday with a chance of showers returning perhaps late Monday night into Tuesday. But uh, that's pretty far off. We'll see. So around 70 tomorrow, but a breezy day, and then very chilly on Friday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday morning. High temperatures barely in the low to mid-60s. We'll be in the upper 70s on Sunday. That's a nice day. And Monday up to about 80, maybe some showers by late Monday night into Tuesday. Our weather app has been very helpful and busy here the last few days with uh, instant push notifications for severe weather alerts wherever you are. Uh, And it it happens quickly. Plus radar, future radar, access to all these videos. You you can read my tweets, too. Uh, So much more. Go to the App Store and search Rich Thomas Weather. It's a free app. By the way, just a little side note. At 3.30 this morning, the tornado sirens were going off in East Montgomery. And I'm told other parts of the city as well. So that was obviously a bad mistake, a, a malfunction. Uh, tornado sirens in the middle of the night here uh, on, a, on a tornado day. It, it wasn't supposed to happen. All right, so another tornado day today here in Alabama. We've had a lot of them here lately. Uh, stay weather aware. We'll stay on top of it on radio, on television, uh, on social media, and on your weather app as well. Uh, meteorologist Ryan Stinnett and I will talk weather on TV this morning. Our first weather hit is at 5.50 a.m. on CBS 8 and ABC 32. Live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. We'll talk about it some more. There probably won't be a video 
video tomorrow or maybe not even a blog update because I'll be involved in severe weather coverage tonight. Um, we'll see. We'll just play this all out by ear. All right. We'll stay on top of this. We'll get through this. I'll see you later. Have a good one. Rich Thomas Weather.